What's up you guys? It's your girl Avery and I'm back again with another video and I'm dropping some tea on you cuz TanaCon you're canceled. So this weekend was the start of VidCon and the new convention TanaCon because Tana felt like the VidCon people weren't treating her right, weren't treating her fans right. So she was going to start something away from VidCon, get away from all those people so hence TanaCon and she came out with a video about it I'll link that in the description so you can get the gist of what I'm talking about and so she created this TanaCon one month ago and she was like hey it's a big thing I'm gonna give out free tickets I'm gonna give out pay tickets so you, like you know you guys can get some perks other than the free ticket people it's going to be a great thing. You're going to see people like James Charles, Shane Dawson, and The Gabby Show. And like more people like Casey Neistat was also supposed to be there. But that didn't happen. So with that being said, she sold 5,000 tickets. Most of them being free tickets and the rest being paid VIP tickets. And June 22nd rolls around and it's the start of TanaCon. VidCon has already started. And basically, they're doing well. No need to worry about VidCon. They've been doing this. They're pros. And apparently, TanaCon didn't even start on time. When, like, it was supposed to start at 7 in the morning. And people are lined out at 5.30. At 7 o'clock, they're just setting up. And, like, you know, that's not the way to do it. You need to be there before even 5.30 setting up for this event. And that has a lot of people concerned of like, hey, why weren't they ready already? So with that people said, with, uh, with that being said, people were started sunburning. It was really hot, so many people started getting dehydrated. And what turned out to be 5,000 people turned into 20,000 people. And it turned into this big fiasco. People were stealing tickets, people were making fake tickets, Pe there was no separate line for the free ticket people and the pay ticket people, so the pay ticket people didn't really get any perks that they were promised when they paid their money. And like you have people coming from different parts of California, different parts of like the United States, you have people coming from Canada, like you know, it's not really fair the way it was all set up. And with that also being said, Michael West, I believe that's his last name, I'm not quite sure, he t sends out a tweet talking about, hey, like, you know, there's I'm sending out extra free tickets for anyone to have. Just get them at the door, right? This was six days prior to the event. And in my opinion, if you say, hey, you can have them at the door, that means there's going to be those people waiting also in this 5,000 line that's supposed to be just 5,000 people. So that means you don't know your numbers at this point. So with that being said, people are like, you know what? We're just going to plow through, get into the show, have a good time. through it's just in this big hallway there's no room in the Marriott and it's quite upsetting when they go into the convention room and there's no one on stage there's nothing going on it's just some lights going on and some music and the venue could not even hold 5,000 people it's reported that they only had enough room for five to seven hundred people so if you plan on having five thousand people and it seven on the seven hundred could only fit that means four thousand three hundred people that paid or signed up couldn't even get in and that's not including the people that mike west had invited so people are wanting where did this 20,000 people, like, what did that happen? Well, 
Tana sent out a tweet to a girl who said she was going to VidCon, but didn't have a ticket to TanaCon, but would like to ha show up. So Tana tweeted back saying like, hey, show up, my venue is free, like you can come, like you know, you don't, since it's free, you don't need a ticket. Well, since her platform has so many people in it, that kind of gives an open invitation to everyone saying, hey, if you don't have a ticket, just come on in. So the 20,000 people, that makes sense. If you're already having VidCon, which is across the street, if you don't want to see your influencer then, then you can just come over across the street and see one that's at TanaCon. So with all those people in the Marriott, security and fire marshals and the police are like, hey, you guys have to go safety first. And people are upset, they're pushing, and they're like, no, get out, get out, get out. It's canceled, and it's between the middle of the show on the first day. And everybody's like, what is this? Like, you know, they're already shouting, refund, refund, refund. Tana comes out, and like, you know, she's also greeting people. She says like, hey, I'm going to go on Instagram Live and give you guys a full explanation, which... Is basically what I just gave y'all like hey she wasn't expecting 20,000 people but she's gonna get a better venue for you guys tomorrow no doubt she sends out a tweet basically saying we have the venue good times shows which she's also partnered with to do this event says hey no doubt we have the venue right now <coughs> so with that being said people are excited for the second day of TanaCon so Second day, TanaCon starts and people line up back again at the Marriott where the first day of TanaCon started because Good Times shows has not given the new event location and people are like going back to where, like, you know, the event was originally planned. So 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, Good Times says like, you know, hey, um, we can't do this it's canceled please leave basically because we can't find a venue it's security reasons we're trying to keep everybody safe and people are upset because they have been now waiting in line and paid money and the second day is canceled people are upset about not only the first day the gift bags which were in the beginning told that they were going to get a gift bag that's worth more than $65 and it's going to have all this good stuff in it. It turns out the gift bag is a drawstring bag that's probably worth $7, a bracelet $3, a condom $2 at max, like you know, it's not that quality condom, and some stickers $3. So you basically have a bag that's not even worth $20 at the most. So, people are upset. There have n not been, Good Time Shows is not answering questions really regarding of like what happened during that time where you guys said, hey, we have a, we have a venue, we have new security, everything's working out. And neither has Tana, and it's going on 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and Tana has yet to answer her fans. With that being said, her friends are answering the fans. Now, they are actually cleaning up her mess. People like James Charles, who in the beginning came on her live the f previous day saying, you know, this is a hot mess, you knew it was going to be a hot mess. Why did you even do this? He went on to go through several tweets, which I'll later show. 
and basically we don't know what's going on between them this could be the end of their friendship then you also have people like Shane Dawson that are like you know hey if you guys I'm so sorry this happened to you guys if any way that if your bank doesn't refund it I'll try my best to refund it like you know I'll also try something else like later on in a date on my next book tour but it is not possible during this time in Anaheim to have something other than VidCon. It's clearly impossible. And like, you know, I've tried in previous years and it's not gonna happen, so I don't know why Tana tried. With that being said, you also have panelists that were supposed to be up there today asking like, hey, my managers aren't talking to me so I don't know what's going on. Her manager is not talking to me. So I don't really know what's going on. I'm sorry this happened to you guys. I also feel betrayed. It's a big mess. But what people don't understand is that a lot of these people were teenagers that worked jobs and saved up money to come to California and watch their favorite influencer and other influencers on a stage that make them happy and when you feel like you've been conned out of that you get upset because as a child you don't have any other way to release your anger but to get mad at one person and since Tana put her name on it everybody's going to blame Tana now I'm not saying don't blame her at all I'm saying you can't just blame her, you also have to blame Good Times, Michael West, and her manager, which I believe his name is Jordan, not that quite sure, but with that being said, I went out and I talked to a lot of the people that went, I sent out polls, I did many interviews, and I'm going to leave those at the end so you guys can see and like get what's going on so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope all the well for Tana and if she does happen to do something like this again I hope she now knows that she needs to schedule it way before or a different location and get all the little bells and whistles tightened and oiled I don't really know forgot the little saying but I've you guys like the video make sure you like comment subscribe and check out my previous video from the day I think last week I'm I'm getting on it just wait see you guys